Hey, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. Today, we are starting a new series. I'm so excited to go do this. I'm literally about to head out right now to go to this place. So, I have no idea how many episodes this is going to be because the place we are going to is wrecked. Uh, full disclosure, I've been over there before. I've worked over there like twice before trying to help them clean it up, but... Uh, they're still, they're still struggling to maintain and control the situation. Matt has helped me out before and he went over there like last week, I think. And there used to be a pretty bad bug problem over there. Like I wish I had pictures or videos or something to show you guys, but the fridge was just like covered in these tiny little bugs, like all over the place. Um, and they were flying all over the house too. Like it was... It was a real mess, but he said that there were no longer bugs in the apartment. So we will assess that when we get over there to see how bad it is. But we talked about it and I think the only like long-term solution to help this person out is for me to go over there at least once a week to make sure the situation is maintained. Um, please no judgment about what's going on over there. Uh, you don't know what somebody's life is. There is definitely a, um, there's some depression playing a part in what's going on and I am just trying to help out. So no judgment at all. This is judgment free zone. We're not going to be making nasty comments about what's going on. We're just going to help and hopefully give you guys some cleaning motivation because that's always the goal, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are on our way there now and we will see what the situation is. Alrighty guys, so we're just gonna start out with the clips of the house just so you have kind of an idea and overview of what we're gonna be working with. So this is the bedroom area and we'll be working on the bedroom probably second or third episode that you guys see, uh, but we are gonna be starting out in the bathroom. So that's what you guys are gonna be seeing next. Now, unfortunately, my camera did not do this bathroom justice. It doesn't look that bad, quite honestly, but uh, it was bad. It had years and years of buildup in the showers. The floors were covered in like cigarette ash and dirt and cat stuff, and it was just not good. But here we're looking at the closets. There are two closets in this room. Um, neither of them were terribly full, but they definitely needed cleaning out. And now we're out in the main living area. So this is actually the space that Matt and I helped out with last time. So it's not like super full of things, uh, but it is just dirty. It's, it's really, really dirty again, and some of the things we moved around are still exactly where we left them, and they were supposed to go through stuff, and they didn't, so, you know, things are, oh, and this, this was sad, because we had cleaned this whole pantry out as well, but it was back to being full again, and Matt spent hours and hours and hours cleaning this kitchen for them, and it's just... It is back to no good. So we're definitely looking to find a new system. And as I stated before, I'm hoping that if I just like come over once a week and get everything like back to tip top shape, that that will help with the motivation situation. But let's just jump straight into doing the bathroom. My first order of business was to just like clear everything off. So I had a little workspace because I wanted to use the bathroom as my uh, workspace for all my cleaning supplies. So first things first, take everything out.
something else I want to mention about the time consuming process of doing this house is that I intend to fully wash all of the ceilings and all of the walls. Uh, if you saw in those earlier before clips, the house is covered in cigarette butts. Uh, they smoke inside and throw the cigarette butts just wherever they land. So uh, the ceilings and the walls just have years of cigarette smoke tar buildup all over them. And the house smells. It smells pretty awful and there's really no way to convey that to you guys other than to just let you imagine what's going on um but yeah that was definitely an added step to this whole process is cleaning off all the ceilings and walls because I really ideally would like to get the smell out I don't know if it's possible but I know for sure the only way that there's a chance is if I clean off all the walls and ceilings and as I go through this hopefully I can show you guys closely enough but like like yellow yellowish brown stuff was wiping off the walls as I was cleaning all this so there's definitely some pretty intense buildup going on in here and something else that I would like to mention for this whole bathroom process is that I didn't show it each time because I figured it'd get pretty repetitive and boring, but my process was to hit everything with the Clorox bleach cleaner stuff and scrub that around and then hit it with some Mr. Clean like all-purpose mix that I have in that little uh, random mixing bottle thing. So that was kind of my process. I would do one layer of the bleach cleaner and then one layer of the all-purpose cleaner just to like make sure that everything was double cleaned and good to go. So I think I'll leave with that for now and put on some jams so we can do a little clean together sesh. But if you guys have any questions about anything, definitely let me know in the comments and I will happily answer those in the next episode. So if you're looking for some cleaning motivation, hopefully this will get you going in the right direction.
guys, that is gonna do it for episode one. I can only smell bleach. I for sure burned out my nose hairs. Like I had my mask on, but when you have a bathroom that you can't air out, like there's no windows or anything, it's freaking bad. Like it is, what is it? 1220 now. When did I get started? I got there at like, I probably got started like at nine. We'll say nine. And I worked like straight through up until like 10 minutes ago. So what is that? Nine, 10, 11, three straight hours of cleaning a bathroom with no like air filtered, whatever, just my mask. Woo. I am burnt out. I'm taking a break right now. This is going to be the end of episode one of doing the bathroom, but yep, that is all we got done so far, but that's okay. I knew it was going to take a while. I really just, I want to do a really good job because my hope is that if I like leave it in the most perfect condition I possibly can, then we can work on like how to maintain, how to maintain it. Because when it's that bad, there's no motivation to even try because it's so overwhelming. It's so overwhelming, especially if you are in a state of depression or anxiety or whatever it is that is making you not able to take care of your space it's way too overwhelming to know even where to start. Like it took me three hours to just like clean out the bathroom, let alone like worrying about the rest of the house. My main point is I want to teach them like maintenance tactics so it doesn't get out of hand again. Because as I mentioned before, we have been into this apartment trying to help previously, but I think the problem with that is we were trying to do like a general clean, like just get some semblance of clean like everywhere, but that obviously didn't work. That obviously didn't like help in the long run. So I'm hoping if I can get everything back to like base clean and just like as I work through, the only goal is to just maintain what I've already cleaned. I'm hoping that that will help, but it's not up to me <laughs> to decide that. All I can do is what I can do. And I am happy to help and try and improve the situation for, for my friend. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. Next week, we are going to be working on closets, I think. I think I want to work on the closets next. So we will see how that goes. But if you're new to the channel and enjoy this type of content, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.